Well, I just want to make a point here that there are a few issues of the Jamaica Advocate which he, Robert Love, edited between 1895 and about 1907. And in those issues of the paper, what is very interesting is that he reproduces articles on the African continent by two of the greatest black intellectuals of the 19th century, one of whom you've probably heard of, and that is Edward Blyden. And Edward Blyden was, I think, unquestionably the greatest black intellectual in the, la the latter half of the 19th century. And his work, Christianity, Islam, and the Negro Race, which was published in 1887, was really a classic. But what is also remarkable about Edward Blyden was that he was a, a recognized a scholar within the British intellectual tradition. A lot of his articles were published in the you know, reputable British journals of the time, like the Edinburgh Review and so on. But he was also highly respected, not only because of the, the profundity of the thought, but he was also uh, a very elegant writer. When you read Blyden, um, unfortunately, we have, we have the privilege today of, of having, well, I don't know whether you have the privilege here, but um, in, in, in England, for instance, you can get his, his works. Um, and in his articles, you see the quality of the writing. And this is very unusual for Victorian writers because Victorian writers had a lot of undergrowth, you know, to work through the thing. You got to get a cutlish and chop through sometimes to get to the real story. But with him, there was a clarity of thought. And, 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 you, and you feel that he's taking you along because the beauty of the writing. And uh, this was something that struck me. And Love was a man who, Dr. T.E.S. Scholes, and he was one of the first black Jamaicans to study medicine at the University of Edinburgh. But he also studied, apart from doing his medical degree at the University of Edinburgh, he also did a doctoral degree in theology at the University of Brussels, of all places. And then he went to a notorious place with an abominable record called the Belgian Congo. He's still suffering from that history until today. It is one of the most abominable uh, political environments that we've had in the, in the post-colonial period. And a lot of it has its roots in the politics of that period. I, I'm not going to go into that. But he went and he worked for some time in the Congo. But not only was he a medical missionary, but he was also a very prolific writer. He wrote a number of books and tomes. And Dr. Love, in this Jamaica Review, would reproduce articles not only by Edward Blyden, but also articles by Dr. T.E.S. Uh, Schultz. To understand what happened with the development of black thought in the Caribbean, you have to go back to Robert Love, you have to go back to T.E.S. Scholes, and you have to go back to the godfather of them all, Edward Blyden. Um, if you want to read uh, an excellent work on Blyden, there's a, a book called um, Pan-Negro Patriot by a man named Hollis Lynch, L-Y-N-C-H, Pan-Negro Patriot, which is a biography of Blyden. And Blyden was somebody who believed in a physical return to Africa. Now, 
Je, um, Scholes and Love did not necessarily believe in a physical return to Africa, but they were committed to what we may call a metaphorical return. That is a conception of identity which necessarily has to incorporate elements of one's ancestry. And for them, Africa was not a dark continent, but Africa was a source of enlightenment in their construction of a new identity within this colonial environment which would give them strength to challenge imperial rule and to begin to shape a new society. And if you want to understand Garveyism and its aftermath, you've got to go back to these people. This was part of the work I've done which has given me a tremendous amount of satisfaction because people always talk about Garvey <coughs> as if he came out of the skies. <coughs> the one day suddenly this great man appeared. But you can't understand um, Garvey if you don't go back to the past finders. And that is what I've tried to do. I was just saying that <coughs> it's a discussion of ideas. <coughs>